Do you get stopped doing 100? You f***ing cut me off and should f***ing knock you the f*** out. Actually, I'll probably get my ass kicked. But... Mm. The rationality kicked in. Didn't let his emotions get to him, you know? Had to stick to his logic. <laughs> Men with no... Where are you? What are you doing? They're on their purpose. At least you guys better be. Huh? I don't know who needs to hear this, but check it out. Tell me if I'm lying. It's nothing more sexy than a woman touching her lips together and shutting the f up. I'm going. <laughs> Is he lying though? No. No. <laughs> Don't be the simp who's buying the girl a drink. She's gonna finesse you. I hear girls say it all the time. They will try and get guys to buy them drinks and then f off because if you're gonna buy them a drink, that doesn't mean they owe you something, but they will just use you for what you offer them. Same with VIP, guys will invite girls to the table, get finessed, they'll f off with a bottle. Quite often it's not what you're saying, but how you say it. You could say the most ridiculous thing, but if you're saying it in a jokey, fun way, you're coming across that you have a bit of something about you, she'll like So true, bro. It's so much more about how you say something versus what you are saying. If your attitude is fun, jokey, playful, a little bit seductive, that's what she will focus on, not the actual words that you're saying. Women view the world through an emotional lens, so they will focus on the vibe, the emotion of the situation, rather than the actual words that are being conveyed. You can get away with most things you say, as long as you say it with a smirk. <laughs> hey guys, look at that rat. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I forgot. I'm lonely. <laughs> Loneliness. The isolation is intentional. They want us separated and divided. They don't want our minds meeting and figuring out all of their plans. You can be the guy that brings people together. You can create the friend group and plan all these activities. It's well within your power to do so. You can lead the people in your surroundings. You just have to become that guy. Just start talking with more people, bro. Especially the other solo dudes around you. I'm sure just me bringing this up, you'll probably think of a few guys. Just go start talking to them about anything. Hey, what's up, bro? How's it going? Most men are going to be looking for something similar to that. You just have to be the catalyst. Start the interaction. Afternoon. What can I do for you? I need to buy a gun. Hello, right. Hello. <laughs> Yo! Oh! <laughs> Mr. Average Griffin Mind Watcher. Shout out to you, bro. Yo! Get your hand off my chick, dude! Army. Okay. And he was based here for a couple of years, so I met him, I think on Tinder. And then, um, he was the first guy to ever open the car door for me, so I was like, oh. whoa! Like, okay! And he had this nice car, and then he was just, like, talking to me. He wouldn't stop staring in my eyes, so it made me mad nervous. And then at dinner, he was really talkative and, like, super sweet. And then he took me home, the same thing, he wasn't pushy about sex. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have sex, but he slept over, and he mm -hmm. was just giving me a back massage, and it was nice. And then we went on a second day and it was similar, but he brought me roses and like, he was super nice. But I actually like got turned off because he was too perfect. Like, I don't know if you guys like that, so but like... Stop the show! Stop the show! Sounds about right. Women that reject the perfect guy. Let's talk about it. They do so basically because they've been pedestalized so heavily by this dude. They do not want you to have them on a pedestal, bro. I cannot say it any more clear than that. She wants you to be better than her in everything. She wants you to take the lead. Can I rate y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Can I be careful what you say, sir. Why? Because you're under six feet. Ooh, feisty. Okay. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, first, what we rate ourselves, then I'll rate y'all. Me? What we rate yourself? Like on a one to ten? Yeah. In my head, I'm a ten, but I don't know. Like, that's just how I see myself. Like your head game? No, just like in general. Like, why would you see yourself less than a ten? You know what I mean? Everyone should be a ten in their own heads. Ten, and if you rate me less, I'll you in the face right now. You? Uh, like seven. Seven? Uh, Why do you call yourself A and they call themselves tens? Because they're bad. Really? How come you don't believe in that? Shoot, just realistically. Yeah. Just so masculine, bro. Just so masculine. Y'all know exactly which one I'm talking about. I will literally fight you if you don't rate me a ten. When I was a kid, the music that I would listen to was like, you know, Metallica, Kiss, Twisted Sister, Poison, Warrant, Guns N' Roses. Like, those were cool bands that had an interesting message. And listen to the lyrics, especially in the ballads. Like, they were a lot of just love her and she broke your heart and you'll get over her and don't be a suck sort of thing. But, you know, today's pop culture is you get artists like Little Nas who are twerking on the devil. That's normal. 
how do you fight the woke narrative of like the mainstream? There's something in the human mind that allows us to be subliminally programmed by our surroundings. I realized this a few years ago with the music that I was listening to. I was listening to like Lil Peep, Mac Miller, Juice World, and I came to the realization that like all of my favorite artists are in the grave and they went to the grave young. And in all their music, all they talked about was depression, drugs, anxiety, feeling alone, losing their chick, being heartbroken, just depressive content. And it was something I could relate to at the time, but and then prolonged exposure to it, I really think it just became toxic to listen to, especially if you're trying to change your life and get out of where you used to be. Everything in your environment influences the way you think. Your subconscious picks up way more than you can imagine. Like, you are not just watching this video right now. You are looking at the trash in the corner. You are looking at the unfolded clothes behind you, but your conscious mind is just not picking it up. Pay attention to all of your surroundings. Remove everything in your environment that could be potentially toxic. Music and your environment becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're consuming all this content and it ends up reinforcing and solidifying what you're already feeling. You're listening to the music. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm depressed. I have anxiety. I do drugs. Just reinforcing that over and over and over. Improve your environment and it improves your life. Show me your tax returns, show me your bank statements, show me your face, show me your profile, your side profile, show me your body, top to bottom, do a 360. Those are the requirements for you to come for me. Those are the requirements for you to come for me. Okay, I'm not, you think I'm joking, it's the actual truth. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but we're equal, we're the same, we're built the same. God damn. You can have all the equality in the world, but you can't change biology. Men are built for war. Combat is in our blood. This is not going to change anything. This isn't going to change how he treats you. This isn't going to change your love. This isn't going to change your forever. Like, this means nothing. Quiet. Day 22, baby. What do you get if a dinosaur kicks you in your rear end? A mega sore ass. Thank you. See you same time tomorrow. All right. I guess I'll see you later as well. All right, peace, bros. Subscribe, god damn it. Look, subscribe, okay? We're gonna hit a million. All right? A million, right here. A million subscribers. Do it.